Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back with our A to Z Kaiser Redux game, and guys, I screwed up. The technique that I was using in order to determine what nations we were going to be playing was that I was going to use a country tag list that specifically I had pulled off the internet. Unfortunately, the only one that I could find was not Kaiser Redux, but Kaiser Reich, from which Kaiser Redux is based off of, not realizing that some of the countries had slightly different tags and names in there, which meant that I ended up skipping what should have been the first nation that we played. Ethiopia is not listed as Ethiopian Kaiser Redux, it is listed here as Abyssinia. So just when I thought that I could get out of nations with terrible starts, nope, nope, that is not to be the case. I am a slave to the challenge. Ethiopia is looking even far more broken than it did in our timeline, so let's uh, let's go ahead and see what happened here. So to start off with, things for Ethiopia in 1936 are not exactly doing so hot. This is the world in which Germany won World War I, and although Ethiopia did end up actually siding with the Germans, which allowed them to seize Italian Eritrea and seize this northern territory, simultaneously they did not perform very well, which in turn meant that a lot of their other areas and groups they controlled ended up breaking away from them. Ethiopia went heavily into debt trying to modernize its country, Country, unfortunately of which meant that it was bound to the Germans, which owned a lot of the infrastructure, including the railroad inside of Ethiopia. And while we want to unite the lands around us, simultaneously we don't really have the means to do so yet. Thus for a long time, the many, many issues that we have at home, including an aristocratic military crippling debt, because of course, the issue of slavery and the fact that we have just an army of levies, we don't have a professional army at all, means that for the focus tree, even though we have a pretty unique focus tree and a very interesting one from the looks of it, even if it's not too big, means we're gonna have to spend the first half of our game dealing with our debt and not really getting anything in the way of industry. Oh God, I'm gonna be backwards for a long number of years, aren't I? Okay, well, since we can't actually industrialize or do anything until we actually seize control of a railway, might as well start dealing with our debt. We start off the game with only two research slots, so we might as well get better guns and uh, research because I can't really do much else industry-wise since this is so tiny. And let's just jump into things now, shall we? President of Russia gets assassinated, always the norm. And let's wait for the dominoes of the world stage to fall. Oh no, a stock market crash and also the Anglo-Afghan war. All things that are normal in this game, but uh, yeah, it, at least it doesn't really affect us to the same degree that it would others. We actually don't get affected by Black Monday. That's actually interesting. Our economy is that backwards that we don't need to worry about modern economics. Why would we when we can just tax the church? And also the slave owners, yeah, if you're going to own people, you're going to pay for it. Absolutely. Wait, what is this? The Deutsche Kaiserlich Wait, wait, wait. They've established in the early 20th century. They're selling the railway? Well, shoot, we may be in debt, but why not go further into debt politically? Sure, we'll buy the Ethiopian section of it. That means, dang, I could actually start modernizing. Okay, let's do it. We will nationalize the railway and start getting everything set here. It's actually really interesting when this stuff happens because each playthrough can kind of be different. I did a little bit of a test prior to this and they did not sell the railway. I had to seize that at a much later time. So we might get a better start start here. Uh-oh, Russia. Russia starting to get a little bit more violent here. Uh-huh. Let's see how that goes. Collapse United Baltic Duchy. Things are falling apart. Fall of the Kingdom of Finland. Fin Finland. Wait, what happened to Finland? It's okay. We'll just modernize. It's perfectly fine. And who needs heavy industry when instead we have coffee? Yes. Belgian Declaration of Independence. Hey, Belgium is free. What? What did you break free from? Wait, who owned Belgium? What happened there? Did I miss what was going on with Belgium before? Syndicalism spreading to Burma, nationalists of Islam seizing Somalia. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I do not like that idea here next to me. Buddy, you're already having food shortages in Somalia. Yay, we're finally modernizing, even as the world, well, it's, it's not even really burning around us. So far, it's pretty stable, all things considered. Oh, wait, no. Mongolia's having a bit of a time over here. It's modernization done. Let's invest in industry. Get all this going. <laughs> I'm going to be just stuck here industrializing myself for basically the entire game. Oh, there goes America preparing to tear itself apart again. Nothing unusual there. Oh, and Britain going after Ireland. Wow. Good luck to you, buddy. This hasn't gone well for you before in the past. Canada declaring war on Panama. What, what do you mean a Panama Canal crisis? When the fuck did that happen? Under what circumstances? What is going on down here? Panama, why did you, why are you at war with the entirety of this alliance of the Entente? Collins ousted from office. All right, well, I guess that's happening then because Britain is invading. Did they actually drive him off though? I would love to see this end up happening here. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. Okay, things are getting even more chaotic over here then. Spain tearing itself apart now. Always lovely to see. Oh my God, there's so many sounds. There's so many Savoyard crisis. 
Let's see, more bush war, more everything tearing itself apart. Middle Africa going after Portugal now, why? What are you doing down here? We're just focusing on internal politics and making sure that everyone speaks Aramaic now, all right? We're just still being all internal here. We're not doing anything. We're just building up our industry. Ignore Ethiopia world, please. I'm just trying to modernize myself. Oh no, 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 not a drought in Ethiopia, no. Stop being so topical game, please. Or the Balkan War breaks out. It's tearing itself apart even more. Russia plunges into civil war again? Again? What is with this world? What is going on? Uh-oh, Dublin falls. Looks like Britain's actually going to be taking out Ireland. Oh my God. It's just, it's so brutal. The world is tearing itself apart. Meanwhile, I'm just building naval bases and shit. Treaty of Belgrade. Bulgaria is now reduced down to its tiny little self. Russia is not doing so hot. And the socialists take over in Bulgaria afterwards. Lovely. But don't worry. Eritrea is now integrated within the great Abyssinian Empire, which has added a grand total of like, actually it, it did add a, a, a couple of civilian and military factories to us. We could actually use those. Dang. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. Let's develop you further then. Serbia now going after Illyria, which is going to tear this party. Oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on. I thought they were going to be doing a little bit better. Nope, it looks like the Illyrians are tearing into them instead. But yes, oh great, after years of modernization and development, it's now time for more modernization and development. Great, reforms which include just taxing people and taking money to pay debt. Lovely stuff. The Liberian Bush War. Oh God, Africa tearing itself apart again. Great. Great, but dang, if Liberia wins that, that's gonna be a thick one. Mali declares war on the French national state. Oh, we're getting even more revolts in Africa. Maybe, maybe, maybe this will be good for me. Maybe somehow the more unstable we can make Africa, the better for us. Man, I really do sound like a European at that point. Nope, never mind. Mali immediately gets annexed. They could not last. Oh shoot, and the Russian Socialist Republic is actually driving back all of its rebel forces. This is interesting. It looks like the socialists are actually gonna win on this side. But hey, while the rest of the world is tearing itself apart, we're fixing our budget. Oh, wow, that is powerful effects. Weapons and research time plus 10% and division training time minus 10%. Oh, oh, this is actually really nice. But construction speed plus 10%. You know, as nice as this is, more construction. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Just boosting that up further. Reforms in Ethiopia, get ourselves to stability because we're still an unstable society after years of reformation. But it's all right, educate the slaves. Let's get ourselves a research slot and actually start trying to fix more of our country then. Hyderabad, oh my God. India, India going ham over here. American Union State is actually doing phenomenally well over here from what I can see. And now we can finally abolish slavery, yes. Wait, hold on. Almost 2 million people currently live under its oppressive rule. So we have about 2 million slaves, so we can either get rid of it entirely, or we can delay it in favor of the nobility, which increases our stability slightly, increases our political control, so that the slaves themselves are not free, but their children will be. This might sound callous of me, but that minus 5% consumer goods is actually really nice. So I think we're gonna delay it a little bit. Don't hate me. Don't please, no canceling. No canceling here, I beg you. They're no longer slaves, they're wage slaves. That's what we're just gonna call them. They're in the factories, you know? Oh, and there goes the Ottomans uh, getting torn apart themselves. War in the desert, everything around them is now declaring war on them. Good luck to you, buddy. The Great Syrian Revolt, Armenia is now declaring war. Iran is declaring war. Everyone is declaring war. Ooh, land reform. Land ownership still operates based on our archaic system, so we can formalize it under the aristocrats, which doesn't really give us anything except stability. This one loses stability, but we can say that the crown owns it, which in turn gives us 5% construction speed and efficiency cap, or just an extra civilian factory here while losing some stability. No, 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 no. Everything is owned by the crown. I don't care if that hurts my stability here, damn it. We'll modernize your bureaucracy and deal with the issues anyway. Philippines annexed. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? When did that happen? Japan is expanding further. Damn. Russian Empire social. Whoa. What? When did the Russian Empire become a thing again? How did this appear? All right, tax reform. No, 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 no. Low flat tax. Keep that going here. Keep the nobles happy because we're going to be using them militarily here soon, I'm sure. All right, governorship reform. Who's going to be appointing everything? Well, the next. This doesn't really matter. It's going to increase popularity of stuff, but I don't really care. I don't want to lose more stability, please. We're just trying to beeline our way through this so that we can actually do things. Ah, but okay, there are issues with military reform because do we keep all the nobles in the army who control everything or do we actually fix it and make it meritocratic, which will get rid of the organization defense buff that we have, but also hurt our stability. This is a broken nation that you are continuously trying to fix. 
Damn. But okay, time for a new constitution then. Oh, Serbia's actually making some counter pushes. This is impressive. Serbia, you are doing really well, actually. Wow, you also have some really good bonuses. Damn, this is powerful. I'm actually looking forward to playing Serbia now. Never thought I would say that. But there it is, the end of the reforms. Selassie's era reforms are now over. For better or worse, the nation has changed radically. We have fixed ourselves. We get a new flag? What's, what's the new flag? Anything? No? No, it's just, it's, it's our flag. Okay, well, now we determine what it is that we're going to do. It looks like a democratic path over on this side, a monarchist path here, and a, what, military noble council? Interesting. Very interesting, actually. <laughs> Before any of that, we could just go over here and crush Somalia. I think we're going to do that first. And there goes France after Germany, breaking the world into war. Well, to be fair, the world was already kind of at war as it was. Hyderabad, you are genuinely impressing me. Damn. And there's Canada going after Britain. All right, fun times. Here we go. Somalia, time to be crushed. You were never meant to be a state anyway. If history is meant to prove anything, to be fair. You're starving, are you? Time to feed you some lead. Oh God, we're not actually able to break through this. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. Hold up. This could actually be a problem for me. Crap. Nope. Nope. Hold them out here. It's fine. It's fine. Just keep on going. I also realized my organization is actually way worse because I forgot to fix my military. <laughs> Shit. Oh my Lord. We are having so much difficulty breaking through all this. This is so bad. Okay. Reform the front line. Move all these troops up. This is just okay. For the glory of Ethiopia, my friends. What have we lost so far? 6,000 versus 50? Yeah, we're going to do just fine, I think. Wait, I can't seize it. Who owns? Ah, the middle Africa owns this. Okay. Well, we're going to need to work our way down in here then, aren't we? Wait, tribes break free of the German. Oh, middle Africa is breaking apart. Okay. Well, that's happening. Damn it. Okay. Now we're out of artillery. Come on. Come on. Come on. We need more of this. Whoa, wait. The collapse of middle Africa meant that I got this port. I got Berbera. They just gave it to me. Hey. Hey, okay, okay, that means I have supply. Kenya's gone, new constitution, new constitution means pacify Ogaden. Ogaden is now a core of Abyssinia, yes. The Mikawit constitution, though the blocking of many reforms in the institution on their own, the nobles have managed to secure power for themselves and the constitution reflects this. The Nagusa Nassant is weak. Wait, what? No, 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 so I, uh, <laughs> I don't get the Lion of Judah. I went down the noble path. God damn it, I didn't want mean to do this. I didn't know that it would do that to me, damn it. We've taken everything but this last little spot. Would you please, for the love of God, collapse already. I'm bleeding through my manpower and all of my equipment trying to take this at this point. Oh, Russia, Russia marching march on Germany. All right, I'm just dealing with my own shit down here. Thank you very much. Yes, there we go. Somalia seized. That's all done. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take all this. Go ahead and steal their navy so we actually get some ships. And then boom, look at that. Look at how thick this new Abyssinian Empire is. That is nice. Victory over Somalia. Do we want all this? My stability is already bad as it is, and we don't want a less stable Ethiopia. That's just too historically accurate now, right? Install a friendly regime. Go ahead and get this, but we simultaneously keep some of this other territory here so that this part of Ethiopia is still mine. Okay, well, I guess that means we got to make a beeline down this here. The Mekawid Snegis, the noble lords and ladies of Ethiopia have managed to hold the empire together for millennia. So it looks like we're going to build a puppet empire in Africa then. Haile Selesi, the king of kings, who's actually just going to be the minor king of other kings who are actually apparently going to be the ones who are in charge of everything. Ethiopia with a surplus of food. Man, this game is not realistic at all. Return the Somali land. Sure, just return all the land in here, which are core. We will keep it all. Return all the land. Yes. Okay, Somalia looking much nicer down here. That probably makes you really nice and happy. And we don't occupy those states, which means we're not going to run into any issues from them. Oh, wow. Latvia and all these others. Balkans have fallen. Tensions in the empire. Seems there are further tensions in the region of Ethiopia under Somalia and Tigray control. With tensions in Egypt and Somalia present, we're going to need to keep a watch on them if they decide to revolt. What do you mean revolt? I'm doing just fine. I won great and gloriously. The Socialist Republic of Haiti has declared war on Cuba. My God, you're taking over quite a bit there, Haiti. Good job for you. Spanish Civil War is over. The Kingdom of Spain is back. Italy is currently fighting itself. Really, no changes over here in Europe. This is actually all pretty standard stuff for them, it looks like. And wow, wow, hey, Pacific States of America making a little bit of a comeback against the American Union state. Yep, and there it is, power to the council. King becoming a weak figurehead. This is not the path that I wanted, but it seems the path that I'm forced to take. Wait, Kiu Land has declared war on the public. You bitches declaring war on my public. Puppet. You bastards! The Kikyu rebel forces? 
Your mustache isn't going to protect you now, Stanley Mathenge. Wait, a moment of opportunity with the collapse of Middle Africa. Much of this continent has been thrown into chaos with the wars and conflicts breaking around us. To the south, the vile Mamu wage war against our neighbor Somalia, who has long been occupied rightfully Ethiopian land. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean I would declare war on the Republic of Somalia? I already took the land. We already did it. This is broken. No, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're already going to kill him. There it is. Kick your land. Down. Done. De de dead. Dead. Just like that. Go ahead and take all of you. Demand all of you. And that should be done. Awesome. Which I'm sure is going to give us something that we're going to have to free him. I'm sure. No, we're just taking... Oh, wait. Yeah, no. There it is. Fate of Kenya. Well, let's see. Form the state of Kenya. Military occupation. Looks like it's going to be the state of Kenya then. How nice. There's power of the council. What happens now? Part of the council. It's time for the council nobles to seize control. Praise the council. Paternal autocracy. Add Katimbo, Wolstein, Zamal, which grants minister interior. Oh God. Okay. What, what do I even have? No, Haile Selesi is still the guy in charge here. At least it's showing. But he is now a figurehead, despite the fact that it says it's still an absolute monarchy. Okay. Well, I guess that fixes that. And now we can finally fix our military a little bit while continuing to clean up the nations around us. Qing imperial authority. What is... Oh, oh God. Second sino Japanese war. Things are breaking out here. And there's no movement in Europe. It's like a standstill over here. So that means I can do whatever I want in Africa. Let's see. Higher Sky Veterans or the Legacy of Ottawa. No, let's see. Hold on. Our foreigners. Yeah, this looks like it's going to provide better bonuses. All right. Ascari Veterans. Let's do it. Justification done. Hey, look, buddy. I'm coming for Djibouti. Prepare that ass. Which means just like that, they're gone. All right. Seize all their equipment. That actually gives some planes too. Where'd they get planes from? Either way, that's done. And I'll take all of you. Oh, and Somali also considers it a core. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. You can have this one too. Wait, Ethiopian claimed or core. Nope, it still gave it to him. Okay, even though we had put the claim on Djibouti in the first place. Mongolian Khanate declare war on Russian Empire. Man, it's just breaking apart even further. You all are still fighting over here, right? New York City declared war on... New York City? New York City? Where did, where did New York City come from? Wait a minute. How is this a thing? Oh, Spain is dying. Wow, lovely. Serbia is still fighting with Illyria. Romania is getting eaten by Austria from the looks of it. And the things over here with Ukraine. Oh, well, Ukraine dealing with Russia. Huh. Well, it's not going as well for you as it is in our timeline, unfortunately. Oh, and I'm just realizing Ottoman Empire is gone. It's now Turkey. Oh, how sad for you. How sad for you, Ottomans. Kenya has joined the Reichs. How can Kenya join the Reichs Pact? It's my puppet. What the fuck? Wait, Kenya was my puppet. How the fuck did that? What the fuck? Oh, bullshit. Focus is. I was literally 25 days away from attacking Uganda. Wow. Okay, well, now we have to cancel that justification since I won't be able to reach them. And we'll go after Egypt instead, I guess. But yay, it's 1941 and we finally professionalized our army. Finally. Georgina declaring war on Zanzibar. Africa tearing itself apart as usual. And I can't do anything except prepare for my war against Egypt. Oh, wait a minute. You just declared war on Kenya. That means you're declaring war against the entire Reich's Pact, right? Yep. Okay. Things are tearing itself apart as figured. Yeah, that was not smart. There is the war goal, but we have to wait for just a second. I also just discovered that I'm apparently not allowed to lower autonomy levels, even though I should be able to be do able to do this. I just... I don't what the fuck, man? I am so annoyed right now. So Egypt, it looks like I'm taking things out on you then. So here we go. Wait, wait, wait who else did it call in? Hostland? I did not realize I'd be at war with also these other parts of Africa. Crap. All right, come on. Move our way in. Move our way in. We can do this. Collapse of the Portuguese Empire. Oh, wow. Colony to France is going in on it. Oh, but the Union of Britain is getting eaten too. And Russia is starting to get driven back. The Germans are turning things around, I think. All right, just hold this line down here. You all hold this part. We can push into the north. The only major power in all this is Egypt, meaning the moment that they get knocked out, they're dead. It is a sacrifice that we are perfectly willing to make here, all 40,000 of you. It's fine. We're also going to call Somalia into this mix. Maybe they'll throw in some units that'll help me. Come on, come on. Keep on moving in. Keep on moving. Trap them in. Yes! There's the entire Egyptian army trapped up here. All of Hong Kong. What is even happening in the world right now? Fall of New York. New York has fallen. The communists are coming back. Oh, boy. Union State is not looking so good, even as the Pacific State is ramping things up. Colombia looking nice and thick. And there is Egypt. Wait, not only is that Egypt, that's everything. That is everything oh my god we beat the only major power in this entire alliance which means that we get to seize the entirety of africa and a large part of the middle east oh my god <laughs> holy abyssinian empire reigns supreme now we decide what to do fate of egypt egypt and sudan are now set apart nice and free and by free i mean my puppet get an arabian puppet kurdistan now release a kurdish state definitely absolutely you're mine 
state of Nigeria, form the state. And what is it? Ubangi Shari? Yeah, form the state. Yep, definitely. Africa, looking significantly more peaceful. And by peaceful, I still mean they are, they're, they're still my puppets. Now we got to break off even more. Go ahead and release Syria as a puppet. Sinai, we will give back to Egypt. That is perfectly fine. Except, wait, do I keep... I, I, I still have Suez. Why do I still have Suez? The Trucial... What is the Trucial States? Oh, over here. What? <laughs> I got all these. No, no, no. We'll get another puppet. Even more puppets. And look at that. Every single one of these states around me belonging to Ethiopia. The true African powerhouse out of all this. How many do we even have at this point? We have a lot. <laughs> We got a lot of puppets, and I can't even absorb any of these things because I can't lower autonomy levels in this mod. Oh, Britain has fully fallen, which means that France is up here next. So here, Germany, we're going to just try and help you finish things off here because the Ethiopians are going to be the one to save the day here with our grand infantry battalions. <laughs> I can't do shit here. Order restored in the public of Somalia. While Republic of Somalia still labors under Ethiopian control, Somali military is asserted to control enough over its own borders that its autonomy is now possible. This is not independent. Wait a minute. No longer an occupied puppet. Wait, 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 wait. What are they now? What are they now? Just a puppet. You son of a bitch. Well, we're going to suppress our subjects now. Maybe see if we can start absorbing some. And don't worry, Berlin. The, the German units are here to help. Did I say German? I meant I'm an Ethiopian. Yeah, totally. Those are the ones that are going to help you a lot over here in this mess. Oh, yes, we're breaking in. Yes, we're holding out. Leave it to the Ethiopians to go and save the day over here. I can't believe I'm doing this. Fall of Paris. Come on, we're moving in. Yes. All right, we're taking some. Yes, we're breaking through ourselves. We are surrounding and we are destroying. We are doing it, baby. Keep on pushing, keep on going. And surround them over on this side. Excellent. Wipe them out. The Ethiopians are supreme, baby. Come on, France. Don't cry about it. Don't whine. Oh, see, that was a joke because they make a lot of wine in France. Please don't, please don't hate me. Don't hate me any more than you already do. Yes, that finishes them off here in the north. Now let's move in. Wipe them out. Wipe them all out. Yes. Commune of France is gone. Excellent. That means that we can move over here and it's time to help fight against the Ruskies now. Here we go. Move in. Destroy. Take them out in Riga. Awesome. Yes. Now they throw themselves at the line. Now they can redistribute all their forces and push on this side. All thanks to Ethiopia. The great turner of the tide in the war. Wait, is this? Oh, no. No. The workers are public. It's all so commie. Come on. But it's okay. We're already pushing all the way up to Moscow. These two units of volunteers are just sweeping through. Well, not all of the system, but we're, we're doing a pretty good job. Ball of Moscow. Yes. There we go. There's a whole group of them caught. Very nice. We've completely cut them off now from the south. Absolutely eviscerating. I have no idea how many men they even just lost. There it is. Peace deal signed, ending the hostilities. They gave up. They gave up, which means we should send all of our troops back, right? No, because America is still at war with Germany, apparently, despite the fact that Germany is the grand victor in all this. Well, you know what? I think that we've done our part and we showed the Germans that we mean business and we've really finished it off. You just leave it to the Ethiopians to solve all the world problems. When we're not starving, we're doing just great. We're like the perfect forces to fight in Russia because, you know, we, we don't have to worry about food, typically. It's already a bit of an issue. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and end things here today. The Abyssinian Ethiopian Empire that controls pretty much all of Eastern Africa along with large swaths of the Middle East, is, uh, I think this is a pretty good-looking nation, if I say so myself. King of kings, and we are really the king of all these other little puppet states, so it's nice. So you know what? I think we're gonna end things here today, and I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for sticking with me on this A to Z special here, and I'm sorry that I missed Abyssinia in the first place. I really hope that you all have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye, guys.